Welcome to Milo's Mods, ladies and gentlemen. So this is the Nerf Pro Tort. Okay. What this is, this is a mag and grip blaster. It uses angled mags, okay? And yes, to get the to get it out of the way, it does take um, angled talent magazines as well. I mean, I was actually amazed for this blaster for two reasons. One, the price. The price was $30. This is a $30 pro offering from Nerf. That's the cheapest pro offering I've seen from Nerf. Okay? What this is, this is just a spring of mag and grip. You know, I mean, it has a safety up underneath here. Forward is to fire and back is safe. Okay? And, and I'll be honest with you, I, I think it's a really cool blaster. Now this blaster does have a couple downsides to it. One, the barrel. That's not a metal barrel. That's like a polycarbonate barrel. Like for those of you, and a lot of you people may not have this blaster, the Valkyrie G09. Okay. The G09 Valkyrie had a polycarb barrel in it. Okay. So, so it's got the same type of barrel as that, which is kind of cool. I mean, that way, you know, because obviously metal's cheaper than plastic and polycarb's pretty cheap. So to make a polycarb barrel, which is pretty cool. So let's see what your $30 gets you. You get the blaster itself. It comes with one magazine. You get a bunch of these darts that Hasbro put out. And these are 36 millimeter darts. They've got a smaller head on it. They, they kind of look like like a weird cross between a diamond dart and a waffle tip in a way. It's a little different. I mean, I don't know how well you guys can see that, but, you know. And you get one mag, and you get a pair of safety glasses. The safety glasses looked all right, but mine arrived broken in the box, so that's why they're not here on camera, but it is what it is. Now, when I ran this blaster on my chronograph, I was getting an average firing velocity of 156 FPS. It, and oddly enough, it wasn't with these darts. These darts here, I was only doing about 140. Again, don't ask me why. Why would you make darts for a blaster that the blaster doesn't like? It is what it is. But this blaster does, took... Every type of dart that I tried, I tried some of the Sabre Tournament darts. I tried some of the darts it came with. I tried the ZWQ darts. I tried some worker darts. Um, I tried. I even tried bamboos, you know, which was pretty cool. I want to give you a firing demo of this blaster, and, and that way you can kind of check it out. The mag drop is not... Clean and crisp on this one, I will tell you that. The Dark Zone Venom mag drop is a lot better. It's not bad. I actually do like it. You know, I mean, 156 FPS for what it is, is not bad at all. I mean, I could definitely run with that. It's definitely priced appropriately. Another thing I noticed, too, was that this stock actually comes off and it's an end stripe stock attachment see so that's if you wanted to make your blaster a little bit longer you know which is kind of cool and all that but for 30 dollars it's not bad this foregrip's a little weird but i could kind of get used to it it does have a nice smooth prime rate you know so i mean for 30 dollars it's not bad Okay, it's it's a decent offering for the price. If this blat, if they were trying to hawk this blaster out for seventy and eighty dollars, they wouldn't have sold well. I can tell you that right now. And I was going to order one of the senders as well, but from what I've seen, a lot of people have had problems with theirs, and I don't want to get into a nightmare. At least not yet. I mean, but this blaster, it's for. For a $30 Springer, especially from Hasbro, it's not bad at all, you know. But then, then again, it's Hasbro, and I've learned to lower my expectations because of them. Such as with the Weird End series line. I still don't even know why they did that, but okay. 
you know, it's definitely a cash grab, but this one is not bad. You know, it still uses the original 50 cal ammo. I actually do kind of like this. I mean, what would I, would I purposely run this in the game? Probably not, you know, but if I was running CQB, then maybe, you know, but not for one of my games, it shoots too soft. You know, for me, our game speed is 300 plus. So just saying. But, I mean, it's not bad. It, it, it's definitely cool. It does scratch the itch, you know. And for 30 bucks, it, it, it definitely is well worth the price of admission. But in any event, ladies and gentlemen, I'll put a buy link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, this is Milo's Mods signing off.